I've recently bought a Netgear router. No big problem. The actual problem was actually putting it on the computer. Now I am using the Orange internet provider and if you're using a, a new computer which has Vista looks a little bit like this down here then you're going to have a little problem when you try and use old software with the speed touch connection on a new Vista computer now what you need to do as my computer is a compact um, and yeah that causes a bit of a problem as of old software on a new computer in this case what you need to do depending on what machine you actually have um, you need to do a system restore you should get some software when you sometimes you don't need software but you should get some kind of instructions about when you start your computer on how to restore you want to re restore rather than you know like reset rather than actually uh, back up all your folders because otherwise it will just won't work again um, connect it all up once you've got rid of speed touch do not put any CD in or anything like that because that's when it buggers it. Um, and then all you need to do is go straight to the internet, like so. In your address bar at the top, you'd put the following number 192.168.0.0.1. Okay, and that is 192.168.0.1. Hit return or enter and then you're going to get this screen and you're going to need to put the standard is admin for your username and password is password but I've changed mine as I've got it working so just put that in hit enter and then you'll get your settings for wireless ADSL firewall router uh, and then you've got your basic settings ADSL settings, wireless settings, and that's how you do it, do it all. Basic settings, just go in, go into it, like so. Put in your, your login and password. Get IP address from ISP provider. And then net, network translation enable IP address. Get done only from ISP as well. After that, you should be able to go straight fine, and then you just put your usual downloads which you had before, and after that, you should be fine. Any problems, leave a comment, and I'll try and help you with the problem. It is a right, absolute bugger to do. Once you get it done, you can get you can actually get it nice and working. I bought mine intentionally for uh, gaming. So, once you've uh, got rid of the speed touch and done the system reboot rather than restore, then you'll be alright. Okay. Please leave any comments about any problems or help or what you think about the video. Um, if you'd like some more detail, leave me a comment and I'll add some more. Okay, doke. Thanks for watching the video.